Hindustan Singh has a 19 rupee dividend coming up next week. So I'll talk about that in the nugget section. And there's a bonus today in the nugget section, a simple tool or mechanism that I'm trying to build for a monthly or a quarterly review of the stocks that I'm holding. Hi everyone, welcome to the episode of 23rd August. Today there were more stocks in the red than green. Bajaj Auto just picked up steam today, 5% up suddenly out of a blue and no big news either. Just a two-wheeler company is looking good and export volumes are expected to go up significantly once interest rates globally start coming down. Today that charts clearly suggest that it was a day of beers. The sector of that day was automobile, but the damage was done by software yet again. This sector is cooling down significantly right now after a steep run up. Today I have introduced a simple green color wherever the stock is in the top 5%. So Bajaj Auto, Aichar Motors, TVS company in the auto pack are in the 95 to 100% zone. Bajaj Auto is quickly climbing towards the fourth auto company in the 3 lakh crore club. The volumes in the entire auto pack were phenomenal today. The other sibling of auto real estate was cracking. Macrotech down 5%, Prestige 4%, Phoenix Mills 4%. Now an interesting part, if you leave aside the volatility in the first one hour, one and a half hour, Nifty today traded in a 30 point range. This is getting silly and crazy. 28,820, 28,850. Bank Nifty also was in a 150 point range only. In fact, for majority of the day, this range was less than 100 points for Bank Nifty. There is something really brewing up with the monthly expiry next week. Don't take unprotected positions at all. There would be spikes big ones either high or low. I don't know which one with conviction yet. Today Nifty did not go anywhere. Bank Nifty also did not go anywhere. Just 0.1% down. FII is bought. DIA is bought. Total buying is close to 5000 crores. Nifty IT down 1%. Nifty Energy did not go anywhere. Today there was a story mutual funds have turned bullish on India consumption growth story. I have been buying consumption stocks for close to three months probably since the election results time in June. For me, consumption stocks are say HUL, Page Industries, Asian Paints, Titan, the ones which I don't have yet, Colgate, Gillette, everything that common man buys on a day-to-day -day basis where growth in pricing and volume is expected is a consumption growth story for me. Also, globally, everyone is talking about 50 basis points cut in rates. India also is now talking about 0.5% cut. In fact, yesterday, one conspiracy theory building in my mind is US may actually cut the interest rates by 0.75% or 75 basis points. Remember I said yesterday 50 basis points market will just take it in a stride and wait for the next cut. The Fed chair obviously realizes that too. So he might just go ahead and in one go cut the interest rates by 75 basis points. This will mean a global party if it happens. Also I'm being a devil's advocate now probably but remember that in my opinion this rate cut will be the precursor to start of a global recession starting H1 of next year after the elections. Now I have no issue with the Ola Electric stock or the founder or the company but I have been talking about the absurd stock pricing. Recently I have joined Twitter and I tweeted about it today. Ola Electric has actually corrected 20% from the peak though it is still 40% up from its debut price but the stock is now heading downwards. Think about the people who got caught around 150-160 levels. In terms of individual stocks today in the market, Airtel was up 1.6%, third good day for Airtel. ICICI Bank continues to march up, TCS second bad day. US markets were looking good yesterday, everything green except Apple. Gold continues to inch up, closing in on 72,000, silver also up. Bitcoin up another 1%, 61,000 now, Brent up. Another strange day for Reliance, the actual gain for that day was 0%. But from the top of the day where it started, it closed at the bottom of the day. TCS nearly same story. ICICI mostly is reverse these days. It went up whole day. So did Airtel. SBI came down whole day. ITC went up whole day. So the patterns are back. HUL up whole day. LNT and Infosys approximately reverse of each other. See SBI and ITC reverse of each other. TCS, Airtel reverse of each other. ICICI, Reliance reverse of each other. Banks mostly were looking weak, SBI, PNB, Kotak, Axis. Descent was up slightly. Bank of Baroda from the middle of the day went down. Same with HDFC. ICIC was perhaps the only bank up. So are the non-banking stocks, Bajaj Finserve and IRFC. Volumes were okayish, not high at all. Only ICICI is near the 52 week high. In the defense bank, GRC is below the 50% mark. Zen Technologies is near the 52 week high. Today was overall a good day. Besides Musgaon Dock, 
everyone was up the volumes also were looking good some interest reviving in defense stock it seems today i attempted what i was mentioning yesterday in cochin shipyard so i got to sell the stock at 2100 40 quantity i have 2120 right now so after selling this i was waiting and waiting i thought that this will go down probably to 2000 it didn't in fact after touching around 2070 levels it started going up and around 2080 probably around three o'clock i squared off the position net net no profit no loss if you account for brokerages just my holding cost goes down a bit and i get to tax harvest from the losses booked on the quantity i had bought higher metals were looking weak jsw steel was the only stock that went up jsw and hindalco are nearing 52 week high Hunsan zinc however is less than 50 percent it besides the middle tier everyone is nearing 52 week high volumes were good but the sector was down zomato only was up energy sector in the power producers and distributors no one is nearing 52 week high overall the pack did not go anywhere volumes also were okay -ish. when reliance is not moving you need other players to move significantly which did not happen today so the oil pack also did not move much bpcl oil india hpcl gulf oil they are nearing 52 week highs i talked about consumption pack earlier so many stocks in the consumption pack are close to 52 week highs and these are very large companies now the graph said that today was a day of beers so 13 sectors up out of 36 greed remained at 53 percent varun beverages corrected a bit radico khetan was on fire today five percent up the chemical pack corrected asian paints pedalite srf supreme coal india was up two percent it is at a 52 week high now the construction measures did not go anywhere cement pack corrected adani enterprises down trent down dmart big cut three percent this visual aid is useful most of the hospital and diagnostic stocks are in the green zone insurance besides lic the next four players are at 52 week high lic was down 1.3 percent today also the top three investment banking stocks are at 52 week high now what true bull run would require siemens and abb to be at 52 week highs which is not the case the heavy machinery sector was down today also look at pharma besides zydus and mankind everyone is at 52 week high no one in real estate is at 52 week high the sector was bleeding today none of the specialty retailers is nearing 52 week highs today kalyan jewelers saw profit booking 1.3 percent down titan also was down so was page industries Airtel and Indus Tower both are at 52 week high. Overall, Bharti Airtel held the markets together 1.4% today also. Nifty 29 stocks down, 21 up. The top contribution came from Bajaj Auto, Bharti Airtel, ICICA, Coal India, Tata Motors. The laggards were TCS, Infosys, ONGC, HDFC, SBI, HCL. Next 50, 37 down, 13 up. Indigo was on fire today, 5% up. The next big performers were TVS, Madhasan Sumi, Zomato, HAL. There is a long list of Lagards today, T-Mart, Berger, Zydus, Vedanta, Colgate, Palmolive. Today I bought a bit of Hindustan Zinc. I already have some of it and I'll talk about it in the nugget section. What is my strategy right now? The trade with Cochin Shipyard, I would say no profit, no loss. So I have not put anything here. All right, first a mini nugget to start with. There are many times where you have to visit and see whether your holdings are going up, going down whether it's time to book partial or full profits or not. So this is the latest set of automation that I am attempting right now. This graph is since 2020. The blue line represents the closing price. The orange line is 50 day moving average. The green line is 200 day moving average. So there are junctures where 50 day moving average and 200 day moving average are meeting. And after that, the stock has been kind of down only. And wherever the 50 day moving average has crossed 200 day moving average, the stock has turned bullish. So here they are proposing to meet again. At this juncture, the 50 day moving average went below. The stock was correcting, then it started going up. At this juncture, they met again. The stock was already going up. It went up further. Here it went down. So at the point where you have to take a call, it is a tough question. But mostly whenever they are meeting, there is a definite change in direction which is happening. This is not a certain way of evaluating stocks, but at least it gives you some idea of the direction. At this point, what I'm seeing is that the green line, which is a 200 moving average, is a straight line because the graph is kind of a sine wave and this is the mean. So at this point, this graph should hopefully go up only. 3500 will be a big, big resistance. 
so this will probably be my level for profit booking partial at least the reason for being bullish is that the stock has consolidated significantly crude prices are down and we are heading into the best quarter for the paint stocks and asian paints is also diversifying into a lot of home decor related items so those will slowly start making contribution to the overall pnl this is a slightly zoomed version this is where the graphs are proposed to meet the stock price is already on the rise all right to the main nugget of the day hindustan zinc how i am planning to play out now the dividend amount is 19 rupees and the ex dividend date is on wednesday you need to be holding the stock on wednesday to be eligible for the dividend now hindustan zinc went below 500 earlier this week but it has recovered it is at 514 right now look at the peak which was absurd but still 800 from there it has come down to 500 so a sizable correction has already happened now that does not mean the stock is reasonably valued right now p ratio is 26 which is okay what is likely to happen is there are a lot of new players in the market they will see 19 rupee dividend 514 as the stock price it looks like a four percent kind of return on investment a lot of them will want to buy the stock at 514 515 520 levels and immediately get a 20 rupee dividend so i expect on monday and tuesday some buying will be there Tuesday second half especially the stock might run up so you might see levels of somewhere between 530 to 540 on the stock very soon before the ex dividend date most people who are new to the market they feel that they will make the dividend money and then sell the share now what will happen on the ex dividend date is the stock will go down by about 15 to 20 rupees from the closing price of the previous day so if Tuesday was say 540 then you can expect 520 levels on Wednesday by end of day the stock usually goes down by the dividend amount or something closer to that a little less or more on the ex-dividend date. So the people who just buy for the dividend for one day, they will not make any money. What happens is after that date, over next one week or two weeks, the stock may go up again if the market is good. The reason is this dividend is not impacting the ability of Hindustan Zinc to earn future money. This does not reduce their capacity to grow further. There is one more factor which is playing in my mind right now. At mining level, the dividend is taxed at around 32 to 33 percent. STCG after the budget is 20 percent. So if I sell my stocks for say 540 or 50, whatever I bought today or maybe earlier this week, if I sell them and book the profits, I'll incur 20 percent on the gains. If I wait for the dividend, I get 20 rupees from that, that 20 rupees will be taxed at 33%. I would rather pay 20% than 33%. Now the strategy may not work out and I may end up with less profit or maybe a loss also, but hope it adds a little perspective, especially the taxation part to your decision. Hope this information was useful. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next week.